Hi, in this video I'm going to give you a little introduction to ordered pairs. Alright, let's start with the definition. Uh, what are ordered pairs? Well, they're two numbers that are written in a specific order. Uh, that may not feel very helpful, but we'll get more details soon. So here, I just want to be clear about this specific order. I'm going to give you two examples here of two different ordered pairs. One of them is the, uh, the pair 415. And another one, so this is a different ordered pair, is the pair 15, 4. So this is what I mean about the specific order. Uh, you don't necessarily have to write them the smaller one first or anything, but uh, 4, 15 is a different than 15, 4. The order is important. All right, so you saw an example of this already. Uh, they're written in parentheses. Sometimes people call that bracket, brackets. Um, and there's a comma in between the two numbers. All right. Um, so in terms of more like practical, like what are these other than just two numbers? Um, first of all, it's a, a way of representing numbers that are related. This is why uh, they're useful because they can, it's sort of a shorthand for showing uh, two numbers that are related. And here are two specific examples of where you might get ordered pairs crop up. Uh, coordinates are ordered pairs. So here I have this point here on this graph. And this point, the x value of the point is 2 and the y value is 3. So we say that the coordinates of this point are 2, 3. And this 2, 3 here is an ordered pair. So this is another example of what, um, a specific example of the order being important. Uh, if anyone who's learned about coordinates before knows that the point 3, 2 is over here, which is definitely a different point than the point 2, 3. So the order that they come in is important. And another place that uh, ordered pairs crop up Anything that you can represent in a, like a two-column table, if you're representing some sort of relationship between two variables, so here I've called them x and y, they don't necessarily have to be called that. Um, you could also write that each line in the table could correspond with one ordered pair. So here, we could use the ordered pair 2, 3 to represent uh, this line in the table. All right, good luck.